today we'll uh, present our uh, Symphony IoT platform. Um, our, uh, it's a software platform. We don't do any devices. We have an ecosystem of device vendors. And our platform is targeted towards enterprise IoT, and it enables customers to develop apps that maximizes the potential of connected infrastructure. And quick intro about our company. We are part of Zoho Corporation. Uh, Zoho is a 20-year-old software product company. Within Zoho, there are three divisions of uh, uh, products. The company itself started with WebNMS brand of products. And then we, we branched off into ManageEngine and uh, Zoho.com. Under WebNMS, uh, uh, we have two product lines. Um, our initial products, we started as a network management platform vendor for uh, telecom equipment vendors and telecom service providers. And from 2010, we started working on IoT. And we have an IoT platform, application enabling platform. And uh, we also have uh, ready to use IoT solutions that customers can directly take and use. So since we focus on the enterprise market, uh, if you look at the IoT as a market, uh, uh, so we have been talking about IoT for the last six, seven years. Uh, but frankly, the adoption within the enterprises is not to a level where everyone expected. Okay? And uh, six, five years back, we have to educate customers. But today, customers are putting out RFPs on IoT. So they know what they want. But still, the, the adoption is slow. And the core, uh, the, the main reasons, uh, the hurdles in these adoption is, number one is, all enterprise is always a brownfield deployment where there is going to be legacy devices, legacy systems, like old uh, building management system, or a SCADA system, or a local automation, along with new sensors, new modern devices, modern machines that talk standard protocols. So any IoT adoption has to uh, take into consideration that there is going to be a legacy system that needs to be integrated. So that is one uh, uh, bottleneck. And then next one is, uh, if, you, if you do IoT for an enterprise, uh, it has to, uh, customers are looking at creating a substantial impact on the way they do business. It is not automating one piece of the enterprise. So you have to think about how do you blend multiple verticals of an enterprise. Let's take an example of a food processing company. So they will have production unit, and then cold storage unit, and then vehicles to transport that, and then retails uh, outlets where there could be, again, vending machines. Uh, and then it can go up to a level of end customer where people order food, and then they have to know uh, uh, on their app uh, when is the food coming, where it is coming. So IoT has to. The vendors has to give a roadmap for the enterprises that even though they start with the production side, but there should be a roadmap where customers can go up to the end to end. So that is blend data between manufacturing, uh, transportation, energy, and all these different aspects of an enterprise. And also integrate with the existing uh, enterprise system so that uh, uh, you, can, you have to integrate seamlessly with an ERP system or a trouble ticketing system or a CRM help desk kind of systems. So the third uh, uh, problem is um, in enterprises, uh, even though it, uh, everyone wished to be like a robust connector infrastructure, but uh, there is a lot of silos within an enterprise. Silos in form of um, uh, software, silos in form of um, uh, uh, hardware, systems, network. So an IoT solution that goes into an enterprise should consider this so that it integrates all these components and then gives a single plane of glass for the customers. So IoT shouldn't create more silos into an enterprise. So these are the top three challenges that we have found from our experience working with customers. So the, the way we address is uh, uh, we have uh, two components within our offering. One is the, uh, the core product is Symphony application enablement platform. And then we also have a uh, edge computing software, which is uh, we have named as EdgeX, which goes and sits into any gateway. So it can work with any standard gateways. And then the EdgeX takes care of quickly uh, collecting data from any machines or any systems, and then passing on it to our cloud platform. So when customers start developing apps, uh, uh, there is, as the speakers, previous speakers said, there is a lot of time that needs to be spent on uh, how do you connect these different systems? Uh, 
and then how do you get the data into the cloud. But once the data comes to the cloud, there are a lot of options for the customers to work on the data and make it meaningful. But collecting this data is a major, uh, uh, it takes a lot of time for the enterprises. They have to have skilled uh, engineers to do it. So to simplify that, we offer an edgex software along with our platform, which can go and sit into any existing uh, gateway platforms and connect with the sensors. So uh, some of the solutions that we have uh, developed using our IoT platforms is um, data center monitoring, agricultural environmental monitoring, uh, very deep analysis of diesel generators, uh, fishing vessel monitoring and tracking, solar monitoring, windmill monitoring, uh, ATMs, uh, the ATM machine monitoring, mobile towers monitoring. Uh, we do deep monitoring of HVAC systems, uh, chiller monitorings. Uh, we also do power grid monitoring smart lighting, so, so these are the varied systems uh, we have developed for customers. So all these fa falls around, we have clear focus on three areas. Number one is energy, so we help customers to save energy, avoid energy wastage, avoid energy theft, and uh, we cover end to end of energy, energy from power grid, energy from windmills, we can work with the windmills and collect data on how much of energy it is generating. We can integrate with the uh, solar farm, uh, we can integrate with the diesel generator, battery banks, UPS, inverters. So all forms of energy is covered and everything is exposed via an API. Next one is asset management. So we can remotely monitor expensive assets, um, uh, availability of assets, usage of assets, performance of assets. And the third aspect is remote monitoring of environment and security of uh, location and asset. Security in form of uh, fire safety, uh, integrating with existing camera systems, uh, vibration sensors, movement detectors, flooding, environmental monitoring. So within the platform, we focus on these three areas and uh, we solve problems around these three areas for the customers. So when it comes to uh, energy, uh, we, we cover end to end like AC, DC, energy meters, dimmers, LDRs, fuel sensors, UPS, battery banks, solar panels. And uh, when it comes to remote monitoring, uh, fire systems, uh, door access, attendant systems, so, uh, camera surveillance. So we integrate with all existing systems. And then location-wise, we do GPS, route planning. Uh, we can do OB, onboard diagnostic of vehicles, driver behaviors. So when, when these three things are combined together, they become a killer combination where we try to cover from say for example, if there is a chain of hotels and they want to adopt IoT, uh, we can help this hotel chains to reduce their energy usage, reduce their water usage, and then we can integrate that into their shuttle service, and then we can integrate that into their say corporate social responsibility where they have a solar uh, uh, panel at the rooftop and we can monitor that, how much of energy is being generated. And then go to, uh, in case of say a food processing example, I said, we can cover from manufacturing to the end customers uh, till the food is delivered to the end customers. So when it comes to the edgex component, um, so the collecting data is one of the major bottlenecks for enterprises trying to adopt IoT into it because uh, it's a combination of hardware, software, sensors. So to simplify that, we have this edgex software which can work on any gateway, collect data quickly, and then pass it on to our cloud, or it can pass on to other, other cloud also. So the architecture is, uh, so we have a software that runs on a gateway. Uh, the vendors that we support are uh, major vendors like Option, Netcom, Advantech. Uh, we can also work with Raspberry Pi, AD Link. We, we support around eight to nine today, uh, but we keep that number going up and it supports uh, uh, like most of the sensors around energy, remote monitoring and tracking. And uh, it has intelligence built in, it is programmable, customizable by the customers. Um, and it has uh, capabilities like local storage, if there is no connectivity, it can store locally and then send later. It has built in watchdog mechanism, in case of any crash, it can start by itself. So customers need not worry about it, they, they worry more on solving their business problems. So this is the architecture of EdgeX. Uh, so we, we have, within the platform, we have modules for uh, remote monitoring, predictive maintenance, location and vehicle management, and energy management. And uh, the platform is uh, uh, 
highly scalable and customizable. Because we come from a telecom background, uh, we, have, we have been working with the telecom operators. So we bring in that uh, scalability, performance, high availability into IoT here. And we are a multi-vendor. Since we are a software-only platform, we have a very good ecosystem of other gateway vendors, sensor vendors who have come and integrated with us so that we offer choice to the customers. So they can choose uh, based on their cost requirement, based on their regional requirement, they can choose what the gateway they want, what connectivity they want. So a quick case study. So we, uh, we, I'm going to cover like two, three case studies. Uh, uh, one is uh, 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 multi-service uh, uh, system integrator based in Oman. So they work with governments and uh, they have developed a smart lighting solution for Muscat City where Muscat City has 100,000 lights. Their problem is uh, just simple on and off of lights is a, is a tedious task where there is local automation on every street. If something fails, they don't know until people call. And uh, so, so we, uh, Imtac, our, our customer created a smart lighting solution where there is a central control of all these 100,000 lights. Customer can push schedules on in which street light should be 100% on, in which street light should be 50% dimmed so that they can save energy. And based on astro clock, they switch on, switch on lights, so that saves energy. And uh, they also brought in uh, a remote asset management capability into it. When the lights fail, they automatically create a ticket in the trouble ticketing system so that customers can dispatch people to go and repair it. So it took uh, four weeks of planning, six weeks for proof of concept, and 12 weeks for implementation. And uh, the product is already live for three months. And uh, overall, we are able to bring down the energy bills by 20% and the operational reduction was 40%. And the overall uptime of lights across the city is now 97%. And our solutions, we are able to demonstrate an ROI of 24 to 36 months where customer invests and they are able to recover the cost within that. So Intac, our customer, after smart lighting, they are now working on smart building solutions for the city, and then they are looking at smart city solution for the city. So another customer is NAFCO, who's based in Dubai. They sell firefighting kit for large buildings. So they have customers in 20 countries. All these kits are very expensive assets, and they are firefighting kits, and they have to be always live. So they have to dispatch people every two weeks to go and check the working of these machines. They automated using our IoT solutions where they need not send people. In case of any problem, we monitor these machines and send real-time information to the customers. We also create automatic workflows within their ERP system so that they can quickly uh, attend these problems. And third one is uh, we, we have a, we built a solution for Sun Electric in India. So they have built a, a power grid monitoring solution um, where they are able to monitor falls in over, overhead power lines across a country uh, within few minutes. Without IoT, it was taking three hours to detect in case of a power line cut. Now they are able to identify and work on the problem within five minutes. We'll quickly run through a demo. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a platform UI. You can, this is a list view of uh, the assets that we are monitoring. We are, we are here monitoring uh, mobile towers. So there is a list of mobile towers. And go to dashboards. This is a status of one particular tower where we monitor things like uh, fuel consumption within the tower, fuel consumption from main power, fuel consumption from diesel generators. And uh, for the diesel generator, what is the amount of diesel it is consuming? What is the cost of that? And we also do a wind chart monitoring where because of wind, the, the, the tower uh, gets uh, changes in this direction, tilt. We identify that and plot it for the customer. We monitor wind speed and uh, so we do all, all possible reports on fuel consumed by these uh, uh, thing. And we also monitor inverters, diesel generators. So you can see that we do end-to-end -end of uh, energy, remote monitoring, and uh, tracking. Some other. So this is on the tracking part, where we have a, a GPS-based tracking, geofencing capabilities. All the towers are tracked. OK. Some other. 
And uh, this is just... Um, unfortunately, that okay. was the rules. I got to cut you off. Please, okay. folks, a round of applause for WebNMS.